National Day has always been an important day for all Armanis. I remember as children, our excitement would start the month leading up to it, when the flags and the lights would start coming up across the country. 50th, it's a celebration of the success. I think one's fantastic. How safe we feel every day and just it's a, it's a warm community both in the school and just in the country. It's amazing. All the locals are very friendly and welcoming and that definitely inspires uh, other expats, including myself, to be uh, welcoming and friendly and tolerant to everybody else as well. Uh, so the one thing that I'm truly going to miss about Oman when I move away is all the wonderful people uh, who I've met in the last 17 years who have not only helped me but uh, stayed with me. Sultan Haytham bin Tariq, uh, Al Saeed will take Oman towards success. My life in Oman is joyful. One thing will stay with me is friendship. It's inclusive, it's unique, the cultural aspects and the people. It's the hospitality, the openness and the generosity of the Omani people. I find the Omani people very courteous. One thing about Oman that I will miss is the incredible hospitality of the Omani people. I think Oman's amazing. My husband and I chose to live in Oman because of the abundance of outdoor adventure possibilities and the Omani people, who were just the nicest. I love the many opportunities for outdoor adventure. One thing about Oman that will stay with me forever is the peacefulness and the cultural diversity I gained here from all of the people I've met. Uh, it's probably the variety of things that I can do uh, on a weekend, from the mountains, the, the wadis, uh, the sea. It's also got to be because of the, the special people who live here. Incredibly welcoming, uh, food is fantastic, and uh, I really, really enjoy my time here. For me, Oman is very special because it's a home away from home. I've been living in this country for the last 34 years and I like this country. This is my second home and this is a beautiful country and a peaceful country. I feel really sad to receive our 50th National Day of Oman without our last and uh, beloved um, leader, His Majesty Sultan, uh, bin, uh, Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed, rahmatullahi alayh. And as we used to celebrate his outstanding achievement um, every November 18th, but I don't know how it will happen this year without him. I would really like to salute Sultan Qaboos for his generosity, his simplicity. His passing hit us hard. He was a father figure to all of us. Yet I find as we mourn his passing, we're somehow filled with hope and optimism for Sultan Haytham bin Tariq and the future and what it holds for us. We pray for God to protect him, to help him, and that we can work with him hand in hand to help him achieve everything that he set out to do for this great nation.